Hello everyone and welcome back to PSGL. We're back with another video and I am in FP this time as a reserve. And of course FP for those of you that don't know is Formula Performance where all the cars are set on realistic. And uh, yeah I'm in the Sauber this week. I'm reserving for uh, Ugi I believe, one of the admins of FP. <coughs> and uh, yeah qualified in P8. Uh, it started raining towards the end of qualifying. And uh, I just, you know, there was just no time to improve. I did try, and uh, I just couldn't improve on a lap where there was obviously time in it. But with the weather, I just couldn't improve. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is going to be, uh, as, as you can tell by the title, a drive that sort of everyone forgot. Because uh, if I was uh, anyone else, then uh, this drive would have been one of the drives of the season. But anyway, back with FP. And uh, yeah, as I said, I'm a reserve at the moment. Oh my lord. And yeah, just on a formation lap. Of course, uh, the, uh, starting on ultra softs and then going to go to, uh, hopefully a set of softs. We'll see how that goes, but most of you, most of you watching this will know that, uh, that doesn't, that isn't the case and that doesn't happen. And, uh, I do indeed, uh, have to, uh, do an alternate strategy through, uh, no, it wasn't anyone's fault, just people being too cautious into town one, which isn't a problem. But it's just annoying for me because I was one caught up in it, and uh, people wonder why I don't qualify. But anyway, for most up is ending. Actually, I'm just sort of relaxing. I'm, you know, as a reserve, I'm not really aiming for anything. Just racing in what is a good league, FP, of course, being one of the better PSGL leagues. And uh, yeah, for most up is finishing. Just waiting for everyone else to line up on the grid. As uh, yep, just currently ghosting through everyone. And yeah, starting on the inside, of course, better for me because uh, maybe I can get the move on Jamie and maybe even a couple of other guys into turn one as we wait for yeah, everyone else to get back to their grid slot. And we are going to go to the red lights, we're going to go to two, three, four, five red lights, and for the first time in a while on this channel, it lights out and away we go. And of course, I get off to a good start. Uh, got to move on Jamie, and we look to go down instead of us, but look, wing damage. And that is why I have to do the alternate strategy. You can see there, my emotions uh, wasn't impressive. Ash, and you can see, I'm like, okay, you know what, wing damage. I'm still going to go for the move. Ash defends inside. I sort of prevent the DC and kind of back off, but he just locks up, goes straight on at turn two, and this frustrated me a lot. And you can see they're bumping. <clears throat> with everyone else, we're actually free wide here. Oh it's quite hard to see from my POV, but we are definitely free wide. I stay as far to the outside as I can and then duck to the, uh, the inside. And uh, with that wing damage off understeer, not into Abbey, but you know, it just wasn't intended. And behind you're going to see Begay, Ash, and Abbey wow. all fly off track. You see there again, not great driving, but I don't think anyone was at fault there. And uh, me, I'm like, okay, wing damage, I'm going to have to pit. So uh, I do decide to pit and uh, sort of go to the side, let Jamie by because I know I'm going to understeer, try to stop as late as I can but as you see I'm sort of running wide and almost Edward running into the back of me but luckily he managed to uh, avoid the rear of my car and we do pit unexpectedly so I do go on to a set of super softs and obviously of course having to do uh, another stop we can just see how far down the order I'm going to be when I indeed come out of the pits so of course this weight of course oh people who God. do wing changes in league races they know that this weight is just it feels like an eternity but in hindsight it's only an extra what six seven seconds oh, to what a normal so pit stop would be man. so uh yeah as you can see coming out of the pits now i'm now in i'm dead last and with no one ahead of me apart from ash who of course had that off with abby Odin, who's in 15th so i'm effectively got it all to do now and uh, you're going to see uh, just exactly what I can do when I do actually practice for a league. But anyway, moving on, we're going to go now to the highlights of uh, this race. So yeah, I'll see you for the next highlight. So here we are in the lap 10. I'm on the back of Ash Bear, so of course when I pitted on lap uh, lap 1, he was uh, 7 or well, six and a half seconds ahead of me. So uh, we have been putting in the lap times, setting consistent 08s on the set of super softs. So it's good race pace in the Sabre as well. So uh, yeah, really good inroads on the guys ahead of course they're all battling quite hard as well and uh, Bugatti and JP just ahead of us as well so we're going to try and get involved in this little scrap for what uh, is at the moment 13th place on the track so going into the hairpin JP sort of pushed 
Oh, I say pussy bonded for K. <laughs> well wired. And uh, I know these two, are, you know, just, just not really bothered by it, but I do with the toe. We've got down inside of Begay, so that is moved on on Begay, and of course JP running wide there. I was sort of think, okay, I can make the move on JP now, and can hopefully uh, push on in this race. And again, JP not really giving up uh, without a fight, so it's good to see JP fight. I haven't really fought JP at all uh, on this game. I gave him room on the inside, and that moment now you see the debris there fly off the back of his car, that is him with wing damage and I did apologise after the race to him because I did ask him uh, if, I, if I did give him wing damage but he said yeah you weren't your fault though he obviously gave him room on the inside, I, you know, thought I wasn't going to get it and uh, yeah it's just unfortunate for him so we push on and it is I do believe uh, the bomb or racer who most people know him by up ahead next who of course is in the house so when we get onto the back of him I will uh, sort of show that move and we'll see what happens so it's the end of lap 13 now, we're on the back of Racer, who's uh, not looking too keen on them soft tyres, so we're going to just stay behind and maybe go for a move into turn 1, because the exit out of the last corner for him was quite bad. So I think, do I want to go for a move here? And I'm gaining and gaining and gaining. And of course, we do dive it down inside, still side by side. I do give him space on the, on the outside, and we do indeed get the move done. And of course, I think that's Jamie behind Racer, who did indeed pit for a set of softs like it is. So he's in that Ferrari, so he's looking quite menacing behind us. But luckily we defend off Racer. And we do indeed uh, keep Jamie behind. And now Racer and uh, Jamie are going to go into battle here. And this is going to allow us to uh, sort of escape off into distance. But Racer came back at me here. I wasn't expecting this from Racer. So we have to defend the inside. I give Racer all the room on the outside. And he can't get the traction down properly. And we do indeed keep uh, ninth place. So lap 14, I'm still sitting... Uh, sort of mid to high eights so the pace isn't going off but of course we're battling I'm obviously setting slower lap times and uh, the super softs are now starting to feel the strain here but it is Adano up next so again I'll see you then for when we catch up to him I made a bit of a mistake um, I thought I was going to be battling Dano but Dano pit as I was uh, forward in the clip and uh, people pit as well ahead of me and that has allowed uh, me to be in front of Lickle who's on a fresh set of softs and at this point I thought you know what I'm not going to give this out without a fight, so you're going to see a very good battle here for the next couple of corners between myself and uh, and Edward. And uh, you know, it's good to fight someone who does uh, give space. And uh, you know, I'm not going to be too cruel here. I'm not going to be too cruel here. I know he's obviously going to have a better run than me here. I knew I'm not really fighting him, so I decided he, he can go down the inside. I'm just going to back out completely. And he does indeed pull off a fantastic move. To be fair to him, of course, me and Edward being the same, uh, being in the same esports, him both of us being in ILRT. Um, you know, of course, I'm just going to let him pass because I think he was actually on for a podium at this point. So uh, I sort of lost him a little bit of time because uh, we have got Jamie still behind me. It's about a second, second and a half down. So <clears throat> I think here, if I can just keep within DRS of Edward, I can sort of catch the guys ahead. So I'm setting personal best sector ones because of the DRS. I think, you know, I'll go as long as I can. But the wear is there. You can see my front left and the front right with that dark patch on the outside of the tyre. Again, I just flicking through my wear there I didn't really get to see it myself but I think at the time I think I was on about 50 or 55 percent wear so I think I go to about lap 20 before I do decide to pit so when I do pit uh, I will play the clip again and then we'll see where I come out and if we have any more battles so we do indeed decide to pit that next lap actually from when I stopped the recording and we do come out actually in sort of clean air I mean we come out just ahead of Asher in pit quite a, a long time before us so to still be out ahead of him uh, in my opinion was uh, sort of made my race because I knew I had the pace over most of the guys here um, not to sound big headed it's just you know for some reason my race pace is really good so uh, I am going to pick it up from when I get onto the back of Dano and I think Jururu up ahead so yeah I'll see you guys then here we are then beginning of lap 21 I'm on the back of Jururu and Abu Yodun and I believe that's Dano ahead and uh yeah, so uh, we're going to try and get past Jururu, break somewhat late, but we are going to go for the exit here. Dana runs wide, Jururu gets a bad exit on them uh, soft tyres, so we're going to go down the inside. I'm trying to push that, push this out as much as I can, and we do indeed under braking get the move done on Jururu. Now we can focus all our attention on Abby Odin and Dano, of course. Both these guys in much faster cars than me, and Abby Odin being in uh, Torosso, I thought, you know, it's just going to go past Dano and just completely move away from me 
but but you can see there the timing screen we're still setting low weights on a new set of super soft tires so again the pace is there for me in this hour as well I wouldn't expect it much you know I'd say I've done about five or six laps of time trial earlier on in the day um, so yeah not not much practice but enough for me to be familiar with the track and get a set up so uh, yeah going on to the back of Abiodun now he tries to make a move on Dano who gets a goes well wide at turn one <clears throat> and we're gonna to stay behind here and uh, try and do what we did to Jururu last lap and get a better exit. We've got to run on Dano though. Are we going to go around outside? No, we don't. We tried to fake to the inside, but we can't get it off. And look at this Dano going wide. I'd be going wide. We've got, we've got Dano under traction alone. Now we're on the uh, down the inside of I'd be Odin, sorry. And that is more or less a double move. Of course, Dano though is going to dive down inside. I think he tried to, but we just broke way later. And that is us up into P8. And the next person up the road is Joel. So. I mean, again, someone who's very quick uh, in a worse car than me. So we should close the gap quite slowly. But, uh, yeah, when we do, well, if we close the gap, then I'll I'll come back. And uh, if we don't, then I'll see you for the next bit of action. About 28 on the back of Joel. You can see that he gets the red X of death. And he looks like he's lagging or about to lag out. And he does indeed, as I get close to his car, he does indeed lag out. And that is Joel out of the session. That's quite crucial uh, for him because he's in the title fight with Edward um, Mylotti Lickle as you saw uh, earlier on in the race so that is Joel out of the, well not out of this race but unfortunately for him uh, his internet not holding up and he did indeed he, he does join back but by the time he joins back he's, his, car's, his car's pitted and he's more or less last so it's unfortunate for Joel but you know these things have happened to all of us it's just unfortunate for him to happen at such uh, a crucial race so hopefully he can bounce back uh, next week but yeah I'm now gonna forward I think till the end of the race now so I'll see you guys for the end of the race it's lap 36 and we are coming to the end of this race currently in P7 uh, but I believe Jamie gets a puncher around here so we are gonna get Jamie it's only a matter of time before uh, I think uh, we got Fraggle as well so we finished P5 so uh, to finish P5 uh, from getting wing damage lap one um, definitely one of my best drives um, again it sort of went unnoticed because you know it's me uh, if someone else did that naming no names I think everyone knows who I'm going on about then uh, there'd be a big hoo-ha about it and uh, be one of the drives of the season but because it's me it sort of went unnoticed and I think bad boy commented on the stream about it and he just sort of, he, he sort of got pushed aside but um, yeah, again, if it was a certain someone, it'd be our oh, driver of the season, you know. Oh my god, this race will be one to remember. But because it's me, sort of got unnoticed. Again, Balboy commented on it. But yeah, just got pushed aside. But we do indeed finish P5 there. Because I think Fraggle had, uh, I think, 9 seconds worth of penalties, and I had none. So uh, yeah, that's been the uh, Austrian Grand Prix in FP. Um, I hope I get to race again. I had very good fun doing this. Obviously, what happened that one, you know. Me and Ash both sorted it out after uh, on Twitter again. Most of you would have seen that because they would have blown up your feeds. But um, yeah, uh, I think it showed that Joe won. Uh, Joel, sorry, won the race, but he didn't. He finished last. So uh, I think uh, Tom AJ in the Force India won the race. So uh, congratulations to Tom for winning that race. And AMK picked up a fantastic podium um, in the Toro Russell. And of course, Warren Haig, uh, league veteran, of course, picking up third place. And Edward just missing out on the podium in fourth and us in fifth not oh, far off the podium so a good result yeah, for us but again it went really unnoticed and uh yeah i hope i get to race again but i doubt it because the car, car allocations are being um dealt with by someone else and i just know i'm not going to race again but as i said i hope i do i had really good fun in uh, the austrian grand prix and uh, i'm going to try and upload uh, all my league races from now so the next race you'll see should be uh, isla on sunday and then a uh, PSGL you know, for F1, which of course is Austria. But that has been it, and I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.